everyone! Today we're going to talk about the Alliance Conquest changes, as I promised in my previous guide, especially about the stratagems and how the energy diamonds recharge. As you've probably seen already, you can choose up to three stratagems, and I add a very important note, your officials need to choose them during the registration day. Once the match day begins, you can pick any or change the ones already picked. So we've chosen two passive stratagems and an active one to test it, and here's a fast forward video of the newly added energy diamonds bar. Here we can see the slots of the three stratagems we've chosen and three little diamond shaped dots that are the energy diamonds. As soon as the troops start fighting, player troops and not NPCs, the bar starts filling and for every full bar we get an energy diamond. Once the three diamonds are full, the bar stops recharging. We've used an active stratagem to test it and it uses one diamond per activation. The bar starts filling again after using it. As you know, the active stratagem lasts for three minutes and you can see the time left on its icon. After a five minutes cooldown, you can use it again. Now let's take a look at points details, we've got total points, occupation points, mine points and entrance points. Now there's no need for explanation for these ones, but we do get column points which are the points you get by taking the player's points in the high. So it seems like we've got all of their points and they've got some of ours. First skill points are the ones you get by taking first the building. Here we can see the occupy time sheet which I find really useful as you can see the time every player has been occupying the building and member contribution points which are the points that players get by taking players points in half and by holding the mine. So this is it for today, I hope you find this guide useful and we'll hear or see each other again soon, bye!